Hey YouTube, so we're back here to do the unboxing. Okay, let's start. It's exciting, I love my coffee machines. Uh, M very kindly treated me to this, so very excited. So let's have a look what we've got. We've got the drip tray. Packaging. Let's get rid of that. And the coffee machine itself. Let's put that there. Let's have a quick look at what else is in the box. We've got just the paperwork, and that's it. Let's get rid of the box again. Okay, let's push that back first of all. Have a quick look what's in the paper. So, do, 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 let's just rip it open. What have we got? So, welcome to a world of great coffee. Just an idea of some of the different products that they can offer. Just good marketing information. We've got here safety precautions. Then we've got the Get Me Started manual. And it's got very similar to the Tassimo. The coloured pictures without any massive directions, so you have to be quite good at guessing what they want. Uh, so that's those manuals. And lastly, warranty. So there's some warranty information there and what it covers, etc. etc. And let's give it a little bit of plastic there. The bit that we've actually wanted to see is the coffee machine itself. It's got this lovely Colour cord, that's cool. In fact, we'll take the tip off the plug there. Look at that. So it's got that lovely, beautiful cord, you won't miss that. And you've got the coffee machine itself. So let's start getting it out, shall we? Put it up. And here it comes. See? And there she is. It's got that lovely white colour. You've got the tank on the back. Just pull that off. The tank on the back there with the max line. I believe it's 0.8 litres. Um, obviously, you've got the lid. It's got the some sort of tape on the lid. I'll take that off after when I'm going to do a cleaning cycle before we use it and I'll show you the coffees. So, that goes back on into there. Nothing that much on the sides. Just a bit of branding information there on the bottom. As you can see, you've got some rubber pads to stop it moving. you also got a QR code. But the main fun bit is the bit on the front. So, obviously you've got your drip tray will sit down here or in there. It's got two different places depending on your height of your cup or your glass. But the front bit, this is the bit we really want to look at. So, shall we quickly plug it in? I can show you some things. Let's have a look what we got. So, a few different things to look out for here. Hot water. Cold water. The beauty of this, you can do hot drinks, like your coffees, your hot chocolates... I think I've even seen you can do a milky tea, but also you can do milkshakes. And we've actually bought some Nesquik milkshakes, so I'll probably show you that as well when I'm going through the demonstration. So, blue, cold, push it in, red, hot. You've got a dial here, which you can turn up. This increases the size of the coffee you have in your glass, going all the way up to XL. That just says XL at the top there. And again, you just turn it anti-clockwise to bring it down, clockwise to take it up. On the coffee pods boxes, there is an indicator of what size coffee or what size level you should put for your coffee, I should say. So if, say, for example, it might say your milk goes on number five and then the coffee part of the pod goes on number one. So that would be number one for your coffee. And then two, three, four, 
five for your milk. They're a guide. You can change that if you so desire. Carry on up, and that takes it to its XL. Another thing to look out for, if you keep on turning, that will be to do with your descaling. So you keep on turning, and that's where you could go to see whether you need to descale it or not. Let's turn it back. That button now, I won't press it yet, but that button is your start stop. Now this comes with an eco mode, so it will shut itself off after one minute of non-use. It also has a 15 bar pressure. Like I say, it's got the XL function and it's got the hot and cold. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna give the tank a clean and I'm going to go through the cleaning cycles and then I will show you both a hot coffee and a cold milkshake. So, see you in a minute. So YouTube, I've just done the cleaning cycle and I just wanted to point out a couple of things first before showing you how to make the coffee and the milkshake. So, vitally important piece that you keep in the tray is this piece of plastic. This is used for when you're doing your cleaning, but it will also be used when you do your cleaning again later in future, if you do descaling, etc. etc. So you do need to keep this piece of plastic. When you buy the machine, when you first unbox it, it lives inside the pod holder. So for the time being, I'll just put it back there and then I'm gonna find a safe place for it. Just slide that back in. The other thing I wanted to point out is with the tank, so I washed all the tank out and the drip tray. You fill the tank to the top as per the instructions and you select the dial to go to its biggest point and then I'm not going to do it now. You'll see it when I do the coffee, the, the principle of what we do. So it's on hot. You then start your cycle. Now it won't use everything in the tank. So it will just do it as much water as you've selected on your dial. So you do have to do it two or three times to get through all the way to the bottom of the tank. I did it like that because I just wanted it to be clean. Obviously it's up to yourself however you do it. So I took the tank from the top all the way to the bottom. So it's just something I wanted to point out which I've picked up when doing this. So next we're gonna look at making a cup of coffee. So here we go YouTube, here we go for the first coffee. Okay, I've got my nice Batman mug. We'll put that under. And I'm starting off with some flat whites. Now if you see on the top of the box, that's the indicator I mentioned to you about before. So that's going up to number six. I say you can do however you want though, but it is just a guide. So let's show you that cup of coffee, shall we? Now some pods, they will have coffee and milk, or just coffee, or if it's hot chocolate, just hot chocolate, and etc, etc, etc. So in here, we have just got the coffee. So let's put one in and let's try. So lift up the lid, pull out your tray. I say I've already moved the item for the cleaning. Now these can only go in one way. Just put it in, put the tray back in, Close the lid. Now with the dial, like I said, you just need to move it so it's on the setting that they recommend or that you choose yourself. We're on hot, so again, if you want to change it to cold, which we wouldn't for this, you just select that, go back to hot, and then that is the start button. So there we go. So I had a Tassimo before, which I really enjoyed and decided to upgrade, so we're now on to, uh, on to the Dolce Gusto. And here it is. It's only be a couple of seconds making this. A lot quicker than going to Starbucks or Costa. You know, to queue. <laughs> and here we go, brewing nicely. And there it is. So this is quite a big mug that I have, my Batman mug. And there's the drink inside. Now this is gonna be very hot. I'm gonna try not to burn my mouth, but same time, gotta do it for the fans. 
I'm gonna give it a try for you now, okay? Oh god, that is nice. That's really nice. That, that is, yeah, that is really good. Really, really good. Um, obviously, you could add whatever extras you want to, whether you want to put sweeteners, sugar, more milk, etc., etc. But for me, that is that is perfect. So, yeah, very, very chuffed with that. Come out even better than I thought it was going to. So, I'm going to have a bit of a swig of this, and then I will show you the milkshake. See you in a minute. Hey YouTube, we're back. So after my sip of my very nice cup of coffee, I'm now going to show you the uh, Nesquik milkshake. Okay, so first of all, box recommends what? One, two, three, four, five. So setting number five, open them up and get out one of the pots. E. Lift it up and put the pod in. It's quite handy actually, the pods tell you on this one, I'm not sure, I have to double check another one, but on this one it tells you it's on number five on the pod. So if you were to lose the box, you've got it on the pod itself. So, let's slide that in. Clicks nicely into place. When you go to put that pod in that tray, that tray goes in, clicks ever so nice. Oh, and there it is, you can hear it piercing. So first of all, we need to put this into cold. And we need to set it to number five. Now, I wanted to show you this in a glass, unfortunately, and it might be one of the slight downfalls of this unit. The glasses that we got are too tall to fit under there, so I'm going to have to do it in my gorgeous groom mug. But the taste will be the same, hopefully. So, the exact same principle, mug in. Uh, so this time, you need it to be on cold, not hot. And then press away. And I'm looking forward to this one, as my uh, my wife is as well. So there we go. It's nice. It is splashing up quite a bit, so might need to. Bit of a wipe after to keep it clean. Something I've got said before when it's flashing, wait for it to stop flashing. There is actually still some, some drips coming out, so you can leave it a little bit longer for all the drips to come. But you have got the drip tray as well. But let's just quickly try this for you. There you go. Inside, give it a whirl. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, that's very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. So I'm now going to be spoiled to choice of what to drink first. <laughs> anyway, uh, so this is the Dolce Gusto GNOS unboxing and demonstration. So far, really, really, really pleased with it. Really chuffed to bits. The only one slight thing, like I said, is to do the height about getting a uh, a glass in there. So I've used a mug for this. So it's probably the one slight downfall. But I do like the fact it's such a compact size. It won't take up much room in your kitchen. There you go, the auto feature of turning itself off has just happened. So, yeah, really, really chuffed. Um, brilliant. Going to enjoy trying lots of different coffees and hot chocolates, etc., etc. So, that's it. That's the uh, unboxing and the demonstration. Thank you very much for watching, as usual. As I mentioned, we have lots of videos on the channel for product reviews. Please subscribe. Please comment, like, everything. We really appreciate it. Any comments you make, we'll always put an effort in to come back to you. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching and have a good one.